So my question is also about uh, trans people, um, because it's specifically about... Um... What is women's problem with trans people? Bro? Like, what's your problem with... Like, are you dumb? What's women's problem with, 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 with men chopping their dicks off, bruv? Very pregnant Candace Owens triggers rude work students and then she went off. All right, Candace. I was looking for this Candace video, man. I was literally searching for it. I was looking for this particular one. But anyways, I found it, man. Let's get into the video. So if you oh, could oh. educate yourself a little more, you would know that. Okay. Well. I will educate myself. It's not fair. Don't ask me a question and then cut me off when I give you the answer. It's just obnoxious. It really is. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope all is good wherever you are. Today, we're going to watch Two clips of Candace Owens debating some students at a university. This was a event put on by Turning Point USA. It was part of their Live Free Tour. All their links are in the description below. We're going to watch these two clips, and I'm going to give you my thoughts on these clips after each one. Let's get into it. Hi, um, I'm wondering, there are dozens of words for two-spirited people, people that would now be considered LGBTQ or trans people in the native languages. So... I'd like to know how, as these people have existed for thousands of years before you were alive or anyone else in this room was alive, and before anyone even colonized America, mm -hmm. if trans people were around then, I'm just wondering why you think it is that trans people are only here now because the media is telling people these things. Well, do you think it's weird that it, I graduated with zero trans people? Do you think, what, what do you think has contributed to the explosion of transgender people from the time that I was in high school? I'll ask you a question back. If this was just a natural thing, and I don't know what you're talking about with two-spirit people, is this like a Native man. American tribe, like high smoking? And Why do you not hear of it then? Why do you not hear of it while growing up? Why? I just, I just heard of all these trans things with that. Bruh, just this new age shit, bruh. Like, why do you not hear of it? Why do you not hear of this person? Because he never existed. You also stop lying. Stop lying to people, bruh. You all deceive people and then when they get older, they start regretting. They start regretting. You also stop, bruh. Stop. And talking about your spirit. I'm asking you seriously, because when I think of Native American tribes talking about their spirits, I know that they used to smoke a lot, they used to do drugs, they also were cannibals who used to eat people, so I don't know if we should be taking our cues from cannibals, but I mean, um, I th I think can you explain to me ridiculous. what two-spirit is in the history? There are people that would now be considered trans people, people that did not feel that they faced what, the What part, though? Gender. Native Americans? I'm asking you. Yes, I'm telling you that not only in one Native American tribe, but in multiple tribes, there were dozens of terms that referred to people right. that would now be considered trans, and that was hundreds of years ago. So I'm just wondering why you think that people are only trans now because okay. the media is telling them to be. Well, I told you, because of the proliferation. So you can't just go from having 0% to suddenly 25% right, of I'm people. what I'm saying is that these people were around yeah. for thousands of years. Well, what you're saying is that some Native American tribes had people that would be considered trans today, that something that we can't trans. fact check because they're dead. It's right? historical knowledge. It's historical documented. knowledge that there were trans Native Americans? Yes. I, I really don't think that's historical Weird. knowledge, but here's, here's what I'll, I'll answer. Then. I don't think that there were, that there were, there were well, trans Native there Americans. Were. Weird. I will educate myself Weird. on the trans Native Americans uh, that were that were running around America. But here's what I'll say: uh, Native Americans were also cannibals. Did you know that fact? Did you educate yourself on All the fact? Native Americans. Were so cannibals? should we should we just assume that it's natural for us to be eating humans because Native Americans were cannibals? I really think that don't apply to what I'm it, asking. It, at is, all. it, it, it exactly does, applies it to what you're asking. You're saying that you found a piece of historical knowledge, which I would genuinely love to fact check that there were okay. trans Do you want some Native names? Americans. Of the tr of their trans names, I yes. Lozen, Datese, Hastinkla, Oshtish, Wehwa. These were trans Native Americans. Yes. Okay. I think what you're saying is that they probably found some that they thought they were, that they had different spirits because we know that, that Native Americans were incredibly spiritual. There's no question about are you that. Not which spiritual? is spiritual. You believe in God? I I do believe in God. Yes. 
So that, that doesn't make me believe in trans people. That doesn't make me believe that you can switch your parts. I don't believe okay. they were performing right. surgeries. And you can let me know, but I don't believe that in Native American history they were performing surgeries trying to switch their Sorry. genitals because they thought that they were born in the there wrong body. There were people body. that felt that they didn't belong in the oh, binary feelings. genders that we have. Okay, so you're talking about somebody feelings. in the history of Native American history had a feeling that they were, and now you're saying that they're trans. I'm just saying, I don't think you're really addressing what I'm asking. I'm saying that I think I've addressed it like 20 times. They never existed. God didn't give birth to these people, bro. You also stop lying, bro. He never, he never created these people, bro. He never created people to trans people. It don't even make any sense, trans people. What? You feel like it, so God felt like, oh, he. You don't even. I can't even wrap my head around it. I can't. I can't even wrap. You know, like trans people. What? It don't make any sense. What are you talking about, Shorty? Like these people chose to do what? Chop their penises off. They chose to insert hormones in themselves and try to be. It never existed. Stop lying. Stop lying. I'm trying to deceive people here. What study? Anyways, I'll look into the study, but I know it's all lies. You're literally spewing out lies. And you're just not wanting to hear it because you want to believe that there were trans Native Americans that were chopping off their genitals. They weren't. But I'm, again, happy to educate myself and explore. Yeah. Maybe there was a Native American that was chopping off genitals. Happened to have, in my family, a Native American history. Never heard of it. But I'm definitely happy to dive into it. I think what you're probably facing is a rewrite of history where they're taking something that was just an idea, of a spiritual idea, where people, and you see this today, who take ayahuasca, they have a trip, they go back, they say that they realize they were a man in a prior life. This is very common when people take drugs, which the Native Americans did. But again, they weren't chopping their off so no this is a different thing that we're dealing with bro candace owens she's is a she's pregnant and she is oh she's on it like she's pregnant and she's the giving it oh shit. damn pitbull she is so good at these debates i would not want to find myself in her crosshairs <laughs> now what this young lady is That's talking bad. about the two spirit that is essentially the 2S in LGBTQ2S+. I mean, that thing's starting to look like a complicated Google password at this point. <laughs> That's from the 1990s. That term was coined by a gay activist in the 90s. You can look this up. I'm sure Wikipedia has it. Okay. Uh, so it's so not right. old. Like, if you went back in time to the 1850s when the Comanches were fighting each other and these Native American tribes were fighting, you wouldn't find this mass amount of trans people or even gay people because they would have been killed back then. Mm -hmm. Like... Right. The trans community right. like to say that, you know, because society doesn't affirm them, uh, that's why their suicide rate is so high. Well, if there was indeed so many trans oh, people back then right. in, those in those days, they would have been in a very, you know, unaffirming society. So if that is the case, we would have this mass amount of people that throughout history would have committed suicide because society didn't affirm them. And, and that's just that's just not the case, really. Uh, let's let's get to the second clip. Hello. Uh, so my question is also about uh, trans people um, because it's specifically about. Um... What is women's problem with trans people? Bro? Like, what's your problem with? Like, are you all dumb? What's women's problem with with, with, with men chopping their dicks off, bro? What's, like, I don't get it, bro. Are you all stupid? What's up with that? Man, my fault. I'm posting the video too much, man. My fault, but trans people competing in sports because mm -hmm. I think everyone here can agree we need to protect women's sports. Um, <laughs> so, are you dumb? Recently in Texas, there was a boy who won the girls' wrestling state championship. Do you think that he should have been allowed to compete in that division? I think that a man taking down a woman on a map should warrant a call to the police. Wonderful. Um, and should not, of course, be considered a sport. Because uh, he he was actually born female and forced to compete in that division despite being on HRT. I am so open to transgender people. Like, if you want, if they want to have their own division, 
go for it. Right. I literally, right. in fact, I would love to watch it. So I actually would love to watch it. If you are for. opting in as a man, as a woman, to having a man take you down on a map, on a mat, that is totally fine for me. But what is unacceptable is that we have these divisions. This is for women. This is for men. And you have people that are allowing men to compete in these women's divisions and to obviously dominate because going back to biology, Right. Men, of course, are stronger than women. They are always going to be stronger and faster than women. It's, it's like right. how Leah Thomas... Bro, literally, you think if you put me, like, in a wrestling match with a, with a girl my size and even a little bit over me, you think I can't do something to her, bro? Like, bro, bro, what? What, bro? Like, bad. If these people have their own thing, bro, they would, bro, we not have all these problems, bro. We would not. They have their own thing. People have their own. Okay, these people are trans. Okay, boom. Football, boom. You're there. All right. Lift the girls. Be the girls, bruv. What's up with y'all trying to go compete with, with, with girls, bruv? You're not a girl. Stop lying to yourself. You're not. And you'll never be one. Never, ever, ever. No matter how many times you chop your dick off and sew it back and, and strip it and, 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 and talk how, how, how fucking weird you talk. To kind of, to, to try to imitate a girl. You will never be one. Never, ever, ever. Stop lying to yourself. Stop lying. Just say you're tired of being a man. Being a man is tough. Of course it is tough. But you gotta suck it up. That's what it is about. You gotta suck it up. Just say you're tired of it. Stop trying to, oh, oh, no, this, that, no, I wanna be. Just say you're tired, bro. You don't wanna be a man anymore. You just wanna chop your dick off. That would be understandable. Not saying you were born, you feel like this. Fuck. I feel like a lion sometimes. Do I want to transform to a lion? I should go in the fucking lion's den and try to and try to transform to... Bro, I would get eaten. Because they don't recognize me. Are you stupid? Almost went from getting second place in a race as a man to winning the race. Yeah, it's, it's completely unacceptable and it's fraudulent. And the exactly. people... Exactly. Going from second to first does it's, not happen naturally. Yeah. It, and so I, I think... I, I'm sorry. I don't... What, going Leah from... Thomas, the swimmer, who came in second place in oh, the as a man, that's right. Yeah. yeah, and then he just switched his and gender and suddenly was dominating. Went from second to first. I'm, as someone who competed in athletics in college and high school myself, no one ever goes from second place to first place. Okay, so if you... Uh, I, Leah Thomas was not in second place when he was competing with men. He absolutely was. If you look no, at the 2019 Ivy League Riley Championships, Gaines, no. I literally, that is not look true. Look at the statistics. Ivy League Championships 2019 that is not true. men's division went, in the 100 free for both the prelims and the finals. Okay, she came let in me second. put it this way. Let's just, she, maybe there was one race he, that he came in second place the in. Ivy League Championships Fine. is one Okay, Ooh. thumbs up. Riley Gaines, who has spoken about how she competed against Leah Thomas and it was not fair. Leah Thomas suddenly switching your gender, competing against women is not fair. I am open if to you're Leah losing, Thomas. You're say it's not fair. Don't ask me a question and then cut me off when I give you the answer. It's just obnoxious. Ooh. It really is. Ooh. I am open to Leah Thomas and every other trans person having their own category at the Olympics and allowing right. them to compete. That right. is absolutely fine. Having their own category at high school universities. Uh, right. at, at high schools, at universities, everywhere across the country and being able to compete. What I am not open to are biological men competing against women. If you want evidence that oh, biological sure. men will always defeat women, look no further than the actual Olympics and look at the time differences as it is when men are competing in a sprint versus women competing in a sprint, when men right. are co competing in a throw versus when women are competing in a throw. If you don't want to acknowledge biological reality, I want you to lead the trans Olympics. I want you to be the person that establishes the trans events for people. Thank you for your question. There's more people behind you. Okay. Thanks. Hey, like for example, I was him back in the day, back in my school days, back in like uh, high school. No, nah, not, not really high school. Let's say middle school. Bro. I was literally him, bro. The, like there was no woman in my school that could literally beat me. Like running, jumping, whatever, bro. I was him. Like I was like that. Literally, whatever, bro. Was he jumping, uh, high jump, uh, 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 football, um, bro, I was racing, track, bro, I was like that, bro, there was no woman, none, none, sack race, all the stuff, bro, I was like that, back in the day, man, and then you tell me a woman would, bro, stop capping, bro, she wouldn't, she wouldn't even come close to my toe, bro, hell no, nah. even right now, none. I love 
thought that your solution is separate but equal. What? So we already have a, what? Your solution is separate but equal? What are you talking about? We already have men and women divisions. So is that separate but equal? I don't know why women are trying to this fucking, I don't know what to call this type of women, but this stupid ass, dumb ass women. They sit and say, oh, they, oh, they are all for a man chopping their dick off and let a man compete in, in their team. Are you stupid, bitch? Excuse my language. Excuse my language. I'm working on it, but are you stupid? Like, bro, I would literally, he would literally beat the, oh, what? <laughs> bro, you should be trying to compete with, with somebody who is equal as you, bro. Like, he would, he, is, he would never be a man, It'd be a woman. He would never be. You also stop lying, man. Women should not be this dumb. Should not be this stupid. You feel me? <laughs>